Today, we'll build an entire sci-fi village. Only using garbage you can find at home, stuff you can find for free, or stuff your friends have lying around that they don't need anymore. And go from this to this. There are a few things that are as inspiring and enjoyable in this hobby as creating your own scratch built terrain. I'm honestly really excited about this. So today we're gonna take you on a journey. Maybe give you some inspiration on how you can bring out old toys, repurpose them, garbage to build buildings, or maybe find things in nature that you can reuse and repurpose for your RPGs and war games. Your mileage may vary from ours because obviously you don't have the exact same products that we found in our home but maybe they'll give you the inspiration to go to a dollar store or a second-hand shop and find some of this stuff for just a few bucks because I am sure you can. Now, let's just build something awesome. Are you looking at garbage again? Uh Only crap in here, nothing out of value. Cardboard. So the first thing that really caught my eye and got me hyped about something is this old spray can that my kids got like a toy doll. I think I'm gonna repurpose this to be some form of silo, like a sci-fi silo. And I don't think I need to do a lot to convert it, but maybe use a Ben 10 clock or something. And if you're doing sci-fi buildings, I feel like Nerf guns and water guns are probably the best things to use for sci-fi textures. One of my fellow YouTuber friends, Midwinter Minis, did a beautiful video about making concrete barricades using styrofoam. Why would we reinvent the wheel? Let's just build some barricades Midwinter Minis style. To get a nice shape, you can use both a saw, a knife, or your fingers to rip off some parts. In our case, we're using all of that, but we also have a $17 hot wire foam cutter. You really don't need this, but it does make life a little bit easier. You can also make these a little bit more interesting. Using some skewers or toothpicks that will represent metal rods sticking out of the broken sides. We can also make them even more interesting by using some of these bars from an old toy cage. Maybe break one of the sides apart to make a an even more interesting gate. Who knows, maybe this is a prison that someone broke out of. Okay, I've got to add some base texture to the bases as well as maybe filling some gaps between the different toy parts. And I have this wall spackle left over from repainting our hall. If you don't have this using dust clay that your kids have at home or pretty much anything that adds texture. So don't get caught up in whatever I'm using. Use the stuff that you have at home so you can save money on your terrain stuff. See how it looks. My building is done, the spackle is dry. I'm gonna start adding some sand texture to the bottom to give it more of a deserty look. PVA glue some sand, you can find this at a beach or a playground, completely free. Let's do this the cheap way. Hi, this is Lucas from the channel. Have you seen my onion ring packaging? We cut it in half. A 
As opposed to Emil, who's mainly using toy parts and different cut up pieces, I'm gonna try to use mainly cardboard to really show you guys that you can really use whatever you have laying at home. Okay, it's now time to seal it all. We're using flour, water, PVA glue, and quite a bunch of salt to kill any bacteria, and then black paint. Slap this on in a few thick coats and you should have a hard surface ready to paint. You know what time it is? Primer time! Into the AM makes some of the best graphic t-shirts on the internet. Lucas and I wear these all the time. You can check out any video we've done in the past three years. We're probably gonna wear a shirt in at least a part of the video. And that's because they fit well and most importantly of all, they look so freaking good. Not only do they have these graphic t-shirts, but also full body prints and classic t-shirts. And if you want to get these, they are three for $61.95. And even better yet, if you follow the link down below, you get an additional 10% off your entire purchase. Meaning that you get a lot of high quality shirts at a very low cost. So check them out. Now let's go back to painting more of these. The pieces are built. We have not spent a single dollar. However, we do need to paint. And obviously if you don't have any paint in your collection, you don't have any brushes, it is going to cost you a little bit of money to go to a dollar store and pick out some paints. to shape up. I'm really liking how this is looking. Lucas is a bit ahead of me in time. Space bang! But the paint scheme is fucking lit. I love it. Okay, so these are pretty much painted, but if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that sci-fi, it just needs that streaky grime. So let's take these bad boys, put it into the streaky grime station, and then... To fully sell the effect of this being a sci-fi town village thing, we need some posters, some newsletters to make this feel like an ordinary day from an everyday life at the end of the world. I've done a bunch of posters now in mid-journey. I've done a simple prompt and... They look awesome! Yeah, they look awesome! Now it's time to cut them out and glue them in place on the buildings.
with the last poster in place, it's finally time for epic space reveal. Pew, 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 pew. Lasers and space cowboys and pew, 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 pew. I think these really turned out great. Hopefully you guys are excited about trying to make your own scrap build terrain. A massive thanks to this week's sponsor, Into the AM, and all of these amazing patrons. You guys are truly the best and you are the main reason why this channel can keep on going. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.